So again, tightly integrated, loosely coupled. Products that compete standalone, head on head, best of breed. But when we put that integration together and solve use cases across identity, access and security in our data center products, we add more value, quicker, lower, TCO, quicker time to value. That's the speed of business story that we're telling. Now I'd like to bring out Baha Masood, Vice President of Global Engineering, so we can continue to talk to you about our product journey. Baha? Hey, sir. Hi, everyone. Hi, John. How are you? How are you? Good. So Baha, since last brain share, uh, we have been busy. Our product management and engineering teams have delivered over 100 total releases. And 50 of those have been major enhancements, significant releases for their product set. So let's just catch people up a little bit. Let's start with identity management. Tell us what's been going on there. Well, we have been really busy for the past 18 months since last brain share, especially in identity management where we have, I'm very happy today to stand in front of you and announce that we have just released our identity management 4.5 advanced edition, which includes our collective incremental releases that we have been working very hard on for the past 18 months. Some of you may have known them as gemstones. In addition, we have added 100 other enhancements into that release. We have also been working really hard to continue building on our identity-powered message by getting our identity context into our identity tracking solution. We have also just last month released our AGS 6.3 release, which is our uh, featured access governance suite in partnership with SailPoint. In addition, we have also released Access Review, which has focused certifications that our customers have been asking and demanding from us to put, in, to put with our identity management solutions. Suites. Great. That's really an important point. We need to make sure everyone understands we have a two-pronged strategy in the access governance and certification space. We have Access Governance Suite, which is our full-featured, rich certification product. It's, it's really well positioned for regulatory environments or environments where you need roles, uh, policies, SOD, some of that higher end capability. And then we have Access Review. It's a more focused certification product and targeted a little less feature rich environments. They're both part of our strategy and we're very excited about the progress that we've made there. Okay, let's switch gears and talk about access management, Baha. Oh, another busy area. John, we have been working really hard for the past 18 months. Uh, so we have released Access Manager 4.0, which has twice the amount of performance and four times as scalable versus our Access Manager 3.1 release. We have also, since last brain share, we have demoed and showed you cloud, mobile, and social access. Since then, we have been adding significant amount of enhancements into those product lines. And last month, we have released a cloud access, which includes mobile access 2.1. So I encourage all of you to go out and, and actually go and see that in action. We have also integrated our NetIQ advanced authentication framework into our access management products to allow our customers to use advanced authentication as well as uh, multi-factor authentication as they see fit for their organizations. Great. So uh, again, access management is a, is a very hot conversation for all of you. It's driving significant opportunities for NetIQ to help you deliver value at the speed of business. And we encourage you to check out these products if you haven't done so already. How about security? We heard the announcement from Cisco. What else is going on? Oh, it's very exciting in security as well. Um, so we have, we have been on a journey uh, for the past 18 months. Uh, trying, to, uh, combine, trying to combine the best of NetIQ security manager into our Sentinel platform. You see this in our latest release of Sentinel 7.2, which is really the best ever. Go and check it out. It has better performance, improved scalability, high availability, and threat intelligence feeds, and much, much more. Great. It's also important to know that uh, Secure Configuration Manager and Change Guardian remain a key part of our security strategy, and we'll continue to invest in those products as well. All right, one more. How about our data center area? Oh, data, data center area, I'm really excited to say that we continue to innovate in our App Manager and NOC products, and we see those as a valuable asset to our identity management customers. 
And we, I'm also excited about our plate spin products. We have been actively releasing new uh, products in that area to help our customers in their management of workload as well as migration, including what most of you right now are dealing with is Hyper-V migration and disaster recovery. Yeah, that's a really important point. We're getting a lot of feedback from folks that say that Hyper-V is something that's very relevant in many of your countries and regions and in customer sets. And so we want to make sure you recognize that PlateSpin has some unique capability because th with that product, you can work in heterogeneous environments, one tool set, migrations from multiple platforms. It's really something that adds significant value. Baja, just in terms of general innovation, we've talked about the product sets, but fill us in on what the engineering teams have been up to there. Well, as, as everybody knows, we live in this very fast-paced IT uh, market, and, and it's dynamic, and it's changing all the time. So innovation is key to us in keeping our products uh, fresh and up-to-date and visionary in nature. So NetIQ has leading products, and we are always on the lookout for what is changing, what is going on. We're always researching, analyzing, listening to our customers, listening to our partners. So as a matter of fact, since last brain share, we have been issued 111 patents to protect our intellectual property and innovation. And we have filed many, many, many more uh, that has not been issued yet. And since we are in the state of Utah, That's right. one other fact is we have won the Utah Genius Award with, uh, for the most innovative software company in the state. And we're very proud to say with innovation, it keeps our products in the lead for our customers and relevant to today's problems and in the future. That's fantastic. I think that deserves a round of applause. Thank you. Yeah, we're pretty excited about the uh, recognition. That's uh, one kind of recognition, the public recognition that our products are keep getting. We'll stay focused on the analyst community, of course, but we're also winning some awards. I just wanted to point out this SC Magazine uh, Award in Europe and North America because for our identity management suite, these were significant awards because our customers voted with that magazine process and we won first place in those awards on a customer vote. So we're very proud of those awards. And uh, Baja, thanks to you and the engineering teams for Thank leading you. that effort. So that's kind of a walkthrough on the journey that we're on. Yeah, thanks. That's a walkthrough on the journey that we're on around identity-powered solutions. I do want to emphasize that it is a journey and that we're here to serve you as you try to deliver value to your customers at the speed that your business needs to operate. And so as we think about this identity of things and the what being combined with the who and how to build these identity-powered solutions, we want to make sure that we're addressing the significant use cases that you see. So take advantage of the opportunity that you have here. Let's make sure we have those conversations. We'll continue to innovate, and we're pointed in the direction of delivering these identity-powered solutions.